I'm here with Julian Hughes from Intelligent Energy. Hey, Julian, how are you doing? Hi, great, thank you. Really Wonderful. Good. So I was fascinated by a little machine here. You have a Matrice M100 here with two of these things sitting on the top of it. What are these? Yeah, so this, this is a hydrogen fuel cell. So this will uh, replace battery technology. Um, and the kind of so what is that this will give two, three, maybe four times the flight time of a, a standard battery. So, for instance, with the with the uh, prototype we have here, mm -hmm. we flew this for about an hour and a half. Uh, we know we can get two hours, but we flew for about an hour and a half. Wow, so Matrice M100 with two of these things will keep up in the air two and a half hours? With the hydrogen tank, yes. With the hydrogen tank, yeah. hydrogen power drones. Uh, is this available yet? Not yet. We're working with, uh, to, to partner with OEMs, uh, and then the, the channel to market will be through the OEMs. Wonderful. So you're looking to partner with the manufacturers to actually yes. bring this to the market. Yeah. And you believe this will replace the batteries? Yeah, yeah, we do. And we Wonderful. know it, it works today. We know that there's a demand for extra flight time. So yeah, it's coming. That's pretty amazing. Any drawbacks to this? Any challenges that you still have to overcome? Uh, the, the main, the main uh, behavioral change is the fuel. So where normally you charge a battery, you plug it into the wall. Here you'll have to get hydrogen, and you can get hydrogen. It's not difficult. It's just a, a behavioral change for for the end customer. Gotcha. So how does this work? How do you get a hydrogen? How do you introduce it to this thing? So you you can get compressed hydrogen pretty much anywhere. So once you fill the tank, um, the way this works is hydrogen will pass across these plates with oxygen from the air. Uh -huh. A chemical reaction takes place, and that produces electricity. And the important thing there is. Uh, it's different from batteries because batteries store energy, whereas this will produce power in the form of electricity. So there's no recharging to be done. Gotcha. So what holds the hydrogen on the aircraft, on the actual aircraft? Uh, we have a small uh, cylinder. It's a compressed cylinder uh, of hydrogen, and and it takes you know less than a minute to refill. Gotcha. So the endurance really depends on the amount of hydrogen that's on board. Exactly. Yeah. If you have a big enough tank, you can go for for a long time. Wow, that is pretty amazing. When do you think, how long before this is commercially available, uh, in your estimates? We think around a year. A year around a year? Yeah, or less, yeah. Wow, so and you that's think... depending on the OEM partners, obviously. Yeah, so you think a year from now I'll be able to walk into the store and buy a hydrogen cell-powered yep. drone? Yeah, definitely. That is amazing. Did you, uh, do you guys, are, are you guys testing this in any practical applications, like mapping or, or any other? Yeah, we, the target markets is the commercial space, and that's agriculture, oil and gas, mapping, you know, you name it. All of those, all of those people need longer flight time. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Wow, wonderful. This is, this is quite a revolution. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Thank you very much, Julian. I, I really appreciate your time. Great. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you.